This storage method works for pretty much everything. It can save you a ton of money. It can help you to find anything very, very quickly, and it's easy. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about storage. I did a video not too long ago and I showed some of our storage for some of our smaller items and I showed the big bin. Now here's a clip from the video itself and you can see the storage we've got. We've got stuff in bags. There's around $100,000 and just around 3,000 individual items shown in this bin right here. Now, I got a lot of questions, more so than usual, on a storage video especially, wondering how the heck I'm going to want to sort through tons of buttons to figure out where something is by what I'm showing in the video. Now, I did discuss this storage method not too long ago in a Patreon video, but I think with the amount of questions that I got, I should show it more in depth so you can get the idea on how I do this. Because there's nothing to it. It's very simple. It's easy. You can do it for a ton of things. Now, many people, when they have a whole bunch of little items they may buy some little drawer cabinets or something trying to store stuff that way that takes up far more room than the method that I use the drawer could be pulled out it could be dropped all kinds of other things could happen to it it's not the best way it also costs way more than the method I use I use baggies for everything like this now there's labels on everything in my place including every single bag or bin that I have something in this one's probably just flipped around. It'll have one on the other side. But they're also labeled on the shelves. So everything is marked with a place it belongs, as well as numbers on individual items. This is how I keep everything correct across the board. This is how I can find and just pull one specific single shirt button out of 3,000 different ones without having to worry about it. It takes just a few moments, 20, 30 seconds. You can usually find almost anything in this category, pretty much anywhere in our buildings at all. So here's the G bag right here. Let's show you how this is actually bagged up so you can see how easy it is to label it. So I've got the G bag here. These are all buttons, uniform buttons. I don't know, there's a few hundred in each one of these bigger bags. All the bags, whatever bag number it is, has hundreds of buttons in here. Well, inside of this bag, I have other bags that start off with the same number. So I've got G2. So there's a bunch of ones inside of this bag. Every one of these bags has a number on it as well. They all tie to the same uh, bag right here, the same main bag, G, so I know it's G, and I just look for the specific number that it is. So I can dig into this one as well, and I can dump out what's in here. And inside of this bag are several other bags that are also numbered. G51, G52, and then there's a single bag here. Now this bag has no marking on it because they're all the exact same identical button. They're all identical. It doesn't matter. Every one of these buttons I can pull out for anyone that sells. It does not matter at all with that one. And as you can see here, then bags inside of this are going to also have numbers on them. So I've got G51, G52. These will be in the title of my listings. If you do custom SKUs, you'd put these numbers in your custom SKUs. So it's basically a nesting process. This is the small inside nesting, you would say. And then these would be put inside of this bag, G5. And then G5 would be then put into G. You can bag them even smaller denominations of buttons, so if you have a problem looking through a whole bunch like this, you wouldn't have to do that. Now, these are all different buttons, and that's why they're bagged like this. If the buttons are all identical, let me put these away and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Now, you can label bags just like this for pretty much anything. Jewelry, toys, parts, game pieces, dice, coins... Oh, geez, pretty much anything you want that you could put in a bag, you can do this for. You can buy little bags, and I've got thousands of them here, uh, that you can store individual items in. So if you want to individually number everything, again, I wouldn't personally do that just because of the time, but you can do that as well. Let's see if we've got some more difference. This is uh, G3 in this one here. So let's see what we got going on in here. 
Now, each one of these bags here, and let's zoom back out just a hair. So there's many bags inside of this one, this G3 here, but inside of each bag are identical buttons. So again, I only have to look at the bags themselves. So to find anything in any one of my bags, it only takes just a few moments here. At the most, I may have to look at like 20, 22 buttons or somewhere in that range to figure out which one. And usually you don't have to look through them all anyway. Usually the one that I want stands out. I do similar things these days for jewelry, as I said. Uh, pretty much anything that will fit in a, a little bag. And I have a ton of little size baggies here that I use for everything as well. Um, and then sometimes, too, if it's a little difference in the same button, I may bag them up even inside of it. These are all the exact same item. They're identically advertised. They have the same markings on the front as on the back. And um, it, I've just separated them by size. I think at one point I did have a different size one in here. It's just now since sold. So as long as you can think it out just for a few moments before you just start listing stuff, it's real easily and readily available uh, storage method. You don't have to buy expensive bins. You don't have to buy anything extra. These baggies here I buy off eBay or Amazon by the thousand. And for a thousand of them, it's like $12 or something like that. Maybe it's not even that much. Um, I'd spend a little while. I order in mass bulk when they're on sale. Um, the more you order, the cheaper it's going to be. Uh, this one even still has the insert for pricing it. There'll be little tags, little posties thrown out there for everything. And they'll list the price and the basic description of what the item is. So uh, that's what I do. And all of these probably had it. This one just didn't get thrown away once it was listed here. Now, you don't have to use plastic baggies to store stuff you can buy one big bin and then store other things inside of there like a couple other totes or something like that there are reasons why i do buy the pullout shelves also but for smalls and stuff like that just buy one big bin and store them this way it will honestly save you time and money with this method here as you see i could literally store a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise in this one big giant tote and I could have probably 10,000 individual listings worth, 10,000 buttons or whatever I'm listing filled in this box at the same time. It, it, it's a space saver, a time saver, and a money saver. They're easy to list. Um, anything that's small is, is in my, my viewpoint these days. If it's small, it's easy for me to get mass quantities up you know, without doing too much work it's a big plus for me. Anything that can do that, I'm happy about. Anything that can save me time, money, effort, or anything else like that is what I need to be doing. And they're all the same. This bag, the same thing. Now, sometimes there may be more bags inside of one bag. Same one here. Now, you could color coordinate them. You could do anything like that to help you if you want. Like one color of a bag is one type of button or one type of item, and another color is something else. So technically, you could use the same numbers in the same bag. You know, the main bag, I could do a C4 that's red. I could do a C4 that's green and store them in the same basic uh, bag system. Um, this system can be used, again, you can use the same numbers for a ton of different things. I've got records, cards, all kinds of other things where I use C1 again. You, you're not limited to just using it for one item because you know where the item is. You're storing buttons here. There's no way I'm going to mix up a postcard with a button or a postcard with a record or anything else like that. So again, inside of each one of these, there's other bags, as you can see. These do have the original uh, labels just stating what the, uh, the button description is to list in the title. It saves me time. I never have to look through more than a handful of anything to pull these out. So even though it looks like a huge amount of stuff I'd have to look through, it's real easy just to grab a specific number. I may have to yank a few bags out of the big bag here, but that's about it. No matter what you're storing, you're going to have to have some sort of system. This way, I just dump them out of the big bag. I pull out the bag that I want. So at the end of the day, all I've got to do is look through a handful of buttons to figure out which one, or a handful of anything to figure out which one I want. They're covered. They're in a big tote. Nothing's going to fall on them. They're not going to collect dirt or dust because everything is bagged in plastic. Now, one more very important aspect of doing it this way also. Let's say I've taken this bag out and I've pulled out something out of the bag and I forgot to put it back and I left this bag sticking around. 
I don't have to worry about where it belongs. Many times I see people, they'll pull something out of bin up, they won't have a number on it, and they won't remember where the items were taken out of to put them back so they can find them later on. This way, everything has a number on it. Everything is marked no matter what. There's no way to mix this up. This goes in C4. So all I got to do is go back, pull the C bag out, and I can just slap this right back in there. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.